I know you looked and said, this is my fault. It is definitely your fault. I'm going to tell you why. Everything that you are doing in life, the way you look, where you live, how you eat, where you go, the people that you're associated with, the job you're at, the amount of money in your bank account, the amount of money in your pocket, the purse you're carrying, the watch you have on, everything, it's all your fault. You want to know why? Because you made decisions to lead you to there. No, I'm not pounding you. This is what I'm about to tell you. I, myself, had to check myself and realize when my life was going in the direction I did not want it to go, I was blaming everybody. One day I had to really look into the mirror and say, what was the problem? And the problem was staring right back at me. I'm the problem. And this is the reason why it's your fault. You can change anything, your situation that you are in right now. Only thing you have to do is change your mind. Whatever you say to yourself, you have to be careful about it. I looked in the mirror, yeah, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, Mecca, you're the problem. Because everything that I was saying to myself was negative. And this is how the mind works. Whatever you feed into your conscious, it sinks into your subconscious. Your mind, has two minds basically. It's like two minds in one. You have your subconscious, you have your conscious. Your subconscious reacts out of habit. And how it reacts is whatever you feed into the conscious. The more you tell it, let's say, I'm beautiful, 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 I'm beautiful. It's gonna seek into your subconscious and then your subconscious is gonna just believe that. Your subconscious don't know whether it's true or false. It just takes orders from your conscious mind. And your conscious mind is what you deal with on a daily basis. Things that you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you touch, what you taste. So it's, your, it's, it's, it's all your outside world. But whatever outside, you bring it inside. And the more you tell yourself, it's going to sub, like deeply, 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 deeply seek into your subconscious. And that's what control your actions and your moods and your life. And that's why everything in your life now, the way it is, is because what you tell yourself. So here's how you change that. Whatever you want your life to be, however you want to look, wherever you want to go, wherever you want to sit, whatever you want to see, whoever you want to be with, you need to start telling yourself these positive things so you can change your subconscious mind. That's it. That's what you need to do. And some great ways to do this is sit in silence and talk to yourself. Get a journal. Write it out loud. Go to the places that you want to live. Go around the people that you want to be around so your subconscious can start believing that. Once you put that into your conscious and it sinks into your subconscious, you will start having actions related to that. You have to do this. This is the only way you will change. The difference between a poor person and a rich person is just what they say to themselves and how they you know, think about money. That's it. You too can do it. You can do it. You can do it. That's what you must tell yourself. You must believe that. Tell yourself until you really believe that. Until it sinks down within you. It becomes a part of you. I believe in you. You have to believe in you. You can do it. Change your mindset. No more negative thoughts. No more I'm dumb. No more I'm lazy. I don't feel good. It's I feel great. Bye guys.